Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to Pre-Match Posh. Today, I'm joined by Charlie and Caden to talk about Bristol Rovers. Woke up this morning, feeling fine. After the Mansfield defeat on Tuesday night, Darren Ferguson came out and publicly slated our players for bottling yet another lead. Do you think what was said was needed or a step too far? I think it was needed after all those games of defending them, you know, after, you know, since that Northampton game is pretty much gone downhill with only one win and, and two draws. But, um, yeah, I mean, it, it was needed. And hopefully that makes the players know that they can't go barling games like that and get away with it. I'm very much in the other camp. I don't agree with it at all. I, I can't get behind it. I think while it's something that needed to be said to the players, something that needed to be said, Darren Ferguson should have just come out and said it was poor the way we bottled the game. We shouldn't have done that. I apologise to the fans. It was a bad performance. We were playing well and then we bottled it. Should have said that, but he didn't. He went way, way further than that. He, talk, he spoke about Hillsborough. Comments like, I should have got rid of a lot of them. Saying the players are lucky to have him. Um, I, I think he's apologised for it. Um, so I don't hold it against him. But... I, I have to, I completely disagree with it, with the whole thing. And it completely also goes up against, uh, goes against the messaging that Dara and Fergie have put out so far, which is keep calm. It's a young squad. They'll make mistakes. They'll have collapses, but we stick with them. Do you think that, you know, to a level, we haven't been good enough? We've, we've, we worked out, we've dropped eight points from winning positions this season and to a possible 27. Eight of those points we've dropped if we picked up those eight points where we were inside winning positions, I'm pretty sure we'd be close, if not at the top of the table. So don't you feel that those comments were needed to sort of give the players a kick and make them realise, actually, we are bottle jobs? The comments were needed, 100%. But he didn't do this in the changing room. He did this in the public domain. He did this where, where he knows that there's fans that are easily influenced. He's What he's done is he's put himself sort of between the fans and the players. Could this mindset and this morale drop, especially after Ferguson's comments, be detrimental inside the dressing room to what feels like quite a big game? I think there'll be changes. I I, th I, I don't think there'll be drastic changes, but I think there will be a couple of changes. Wouldn't surprise me if we saw, you know, maybe Burroughs drop now. But obviously he might have to play because of Kyoso. But I think... Critchlow may get his chance again just for the sake of making a change. I think he feels the need to, I think he'll feel the need to freshen it up. And because that new squad had gone a little bit stale, if you know what I mean. Hopefully, you know, that made them realise that you can't just sit on a lead. You know, you can't just go 2 1 up, 1 0 up, whatever the score is, and sit on that. There was a silly stat from last season that, you know, we'd, we'd gone so many games going 1 0 up and and you know winning the games yeah and i and i and i agree with you there Caden. i feel like this is a statement that sitting on a lead doesn't work and unless you're two nil three nil up bringing center backs on when you've got a one goal lead late in the game is really not a very sensible managerial option two points separate rovers uh sat in 12th from peterborough sat in eighth with both teams unbeaten in three in the league but Rovers collecting more points, having two wins and one draw. Could this feel like a must-win game? Listen, it's not a must-win because realistically we're, we're sort of resigned to a mid-table finish and we're above mid-table right now. So if we lose, we'll just slip to where we were expected to be. So it's not a must-win in the sense of the table. It's a must-win because you, you want to win your home games. Unless you're playing against, you know, like the top two teams in the league, which Bristol Rovers are not one of. You know, you want to win your home games. You want to, after a disappointing loss in the week, bounce back. So it is it is a must win in that sense. But in the sense of the table, the points picked up, it's not a must win per se. Last season, we had a good home form. You know, we have done since the 1920 season pretty much, maybe bar the championship. And I'd like to keep that. I would like to keep that um, good home form, you know. Let's hope we get a win and we start a good run of games, you know, unbeaten at home. John to Clark Harris almost left uh, our club in the transfer window. Uh, he almost went to Bristol Rovers, which is the 
team we are playing on Saturday at home. Do you think this game could affect his mental state? Do you think maybe he's going to be hesitant to score because he's, that's where it looks like he wants to go in January and make his return? What do you think is going to be running through his head? And do you think maybe it's a chance to give Wakeling a runabout, you know, if worst comes to worst? I mean, listen, Jono's come back into form since the transfer window. I think the ambiguity about his very near future in, in the transfer window was... What's affecting him? I think now he knows he's going to be a Peterborough United player until at least January. That is a fact. I think he'd settled him down and he's just getting his head down and working. He'll have no problem scoring against Bristol Rovers. He will actually, I think, want to score against them to make sure that they do come and pay the money again in January. You know, they they signed a striker uh, yesterday, Chris Martin, a free agent from that was at QPR last season. You know, he will be thinking... OK, am I still going to get this move there? Because that was his preferred destination. I would like to see Wakeling maybe given a go, but in Ricky's position on the wing... I would be up for giving him a chance, a bit more of a chance than he's currently getting, than just off the bench. Peter Kyoso seems to have a suspension. Five yellow cards, a one-match ban. Do we think this could be awful, considering we've just given him captaincy and now he's gone? How do you think that's going to affect our general gameplay? Well... <laughs> We don't really have any replacements at right back apart from maybe Josh Knight, who isn't exactly a right back. So it'll be most likely him playing there on Saturday. And I would definitely be against that because he's not an actual right back. Our player of the season, in my opinion, Peter Kioso is out for probably a quite a big game um, that we should really be hunting for a win in. Um, I think it's going to be absolutely awful. I feel like Although we really do need to win this game, I really, I, th I think we'll really struggle. I will ask you all for your predictions and your goal scorers. If there's no goal scorers, Peterborough United's first yellow card. I will go for a two on posh. Um, I'll go Clark Harris' first goal scorer against his former team, the team he did nearly join um, just before the end of the window. And yeah, it'll be great to see him score against Bristol Rovers. Not that he has any hate against them because he... He could still join them in January. Yeah, listen, I think we're going to struggle. I mean, you mentioned, Max, that our right-back spot is going to be weak. We're going to be exploited. It's going to be a bit of a bitty game, I think. I think it's going to be one all. I think we're going to score first with Jono, and then they're going to equalise about 60 minutes, and it's going to fizzle out. And yeah, I think it's going to be another disappointing one at home. Well, I'll be negative, as I usually am. Uh, a 2-0 posh loss with Hector Kipriano being our first yellow card. I just can't see us scoring We're without our captain. We're without our right back, meaning that our right back and left back position are now open, which is exactly where the likes of Aaron Collins is going to try and exploit. Thank you so much for watching Pretty Match Posh at the Posh. <laughs> After the Mansfield defeat on Tuesday night, Darren Ferguson came out and publicly slated our players on pre-match posh. Pre-match posh. Pre-match posh. Do we think... Slated our players on pre-match posh. Pre